There's a lot of great schools, but to go to the number one public school there is in America, it's special. When you spend four or five years at West Point, it's going to be very difficult. You're going to question things a lot. But the next 40 years of your life is going to be great because you put in the work. When you're at West Point, it's not just a team. It's a brotherhood. Football is the greatest sport there is. I coach a lot of guys in high school to go play college ball. And people always ask you, who's your favorite team? I pull for where my players go. And it's even more special to see Brahim Murphy putting on an Army uniform. West Point's perfect for him. He's locked in. That's good. Locked in, locked in. Thinking back to how I grew up, I overcame a lot of things. Slight percentage of you finishing high school, slight percentage of you going to college. Being able to sign that, that letter of intent and go to West Point was like life changing. Let's go eight. Let's go heap. Make a play right here, let's go. Make a play, make a play. Oh, what a pass. Yeah! Let's go, baby! Hey. Let's go, Raheem! That's my boy! <laughs> Raheem Murphy and Sam Griner share a special connection. Good job right there. Together in 2017, player and coach accomplished what many said was impossible. It's our first time back in, what, five years? Five roughly? years. The memory's starting to kick in now. I don't know why, but like this old mustard color, I never could get used to that, right? Not our colors? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't our colors, really. We used to pack this place, though. Like, remember, like, people would be wrapped around the fences and people would be going nuts. That season was special. In 2015, Griner was a first-year head coach at Harding University High School in Charlotte. He inherited a struggling team that had not won a championship for nearly 65 years. Sam's values with his team and his home life are exactly the same. He treats his players the exact same as he does us. I mean, he loves them unconditionally. He will do literally anything for them. When coach first met player, Sam had to deliver the bad news to Brahim that he was academically ineligible to play football. Brahim then began confiding in Sam about his struggles. Growing up, life was kind of difficult. You know, my mom passed when I was five, and that was a big turn in my life. We went through hardships. My dad had to do a lot on his own. I knew how to make things work, so I wanted my dad to um, focus on my little sister who's handicapped and can't take care of herself. So. When I was 16, I moved out. It was a struggle, but it was working at a point. But then being ineligible really showed me that I needed to have a stable home. Sam, he was very caring. Having that mentor in your life at the time, having that coach was like perfect. It keeps you going. We would have conversations. He would drop me off at work sometimes, and he would try to drop me off at home, be like, where are you going today? And I'll go to like a friend's house. We're about a month into this, I started realizing Brahim's real situation. I can remember going into my office and I'm pondering because my daughters are two and three at the time. Your wife's working retail, you're working long hours. But I see a kid I really, really started to grow with. I love them to death. And I come home and I say, Connie, there's this kid. Can we just bring him home? I want to see if he can eat anything. She's like, yeah, bring him home. From that day, he never left. He stayed with us ever since. We were super young in our marriage. I just had my two babies, and then I was bringing this teenager in. But when you see Brahim, you just see the good in him. Brahim, Journey, and Charlie. We ain't got much snow, but we sliding. Say, cheese, go, 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 go. <laughs> when they showed me that they cared, it pushed me to be greater than what I was. With a stable home, Brahim's life on and off the field began to change. His grades shot up. He was getting straight A's. I just provided him with some stability. I didn't do nothing special. I just did something regular you would do for your own child. And when he did that, he did the rest. The special ability is in him. Brahim's special ability was undeniable. As was the progress of the football team. Sam, after he became the coach, everyone bought in on one mission that we were gonna get better every day. Harding was no longer the laughingstock of their conference. They were contenders, beating Charlotte's best. 
These kids knew it. They knew we could be special. They thought there was no chance for us. I mean, you went from a one in 10 team, worst team in Charlotte, now all of a sudden you're gonna win a state championship? Come on, man, let's be serious. Harding University, this turnaround, can you put it into perspective? Basically, this is like if the Cleveland Browns turn around and go to the Super Bowl next year. We was playing against a good team. I just had that killer mindset, and I was like, we're not losing today, like, no matter what. Raheem is making play after play. He's just a baller, he's just a winner. Murphy, unbelievable, wow. When it gets down to the end of the game, we're up. We're on our own five-yard line. Anything goes wrong, the game can be over. I said, hey, let's run. And Ibrahim stops me in mid-stride. He says, coach, run towers right, Liz 28-0. I said, you sure? And he says, yeah, but I'm going to keep it. And he's like, what? I was like, just trust me. I'm going to keep the ball. Ibrahim trusted Sam when he needed him the most. And in the biggest play of their careers, Sam trusted Ibrahim. Paul was beaten. Raheem Murphy, what a story. Lives with his head coach because he had no other place to go. Look and he's this. got a lot of places to go now. Wide open field in front of him. Raheem Murphy, headed to Army, headed to the house, and a state title for Hardy. Wow. And I'm like, get the first down. I'm like, oh my God, he might not be called. You just see this long, glorious run. A comeback kid, a coach, who believed his whole life, right here, then and there, the greatest moment ever, that seals the game. And I'll never forget, after he scores, he come over there and we hug each other, and he gives me a picture, all the, the things that we go through in life, and you know, faith, family, football, he gives me this for Christmas. And you know, Brahim didn't have a lot of money, and I don't expect nothing from him, but he gives me this, and this is one of the best gifts I've ever got. Just so much happiness on his face that he was able to lead our team, and this is probably one of the coolest moments that we've ever lived right here. It was the miracle that happened. It just shows everybody anything that you want can be done. And he might never ever call me dad. I'm not looking for that. I'm okay with coach. I love him and I will call him son because I care that much about him. He says I call him coach, but he, he know I call him like pops. I don't know where I would be if he never reached out to me. After the improbable 2017 season, Sam and Brahim's relationship has only grown stronger. And proud coach will get to see his former player graduate from West Point as an Army officer. A lot of people think, oh, you did so much for that kid. No, <laughs> that kid's done a lot for me. He showed me that you can overcome. Just so proud to see him be so resilient. All his dreams were coming true. The grinders, they mean a lot to me. When I come home, I come here. I visit my family members as well, but this is my home. Moving in with them definitely saved me. It was the best thing that happened to me. Their family for the rest of my life.